Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this uh, workshop on green maritime logistics. My name is Harilo Sarastis, and I, together with David Pissinger, uh, are uh, organizing this event. You have the agenda in front of you. It's a full agenda. There's also a piece of paper where you have to sign. If you haven't done so, please do so. And it's the second time that we're hosting this, uh, this event. We did last, uh, this last year, uh, and we hope to have an interesting discussion. By sheer coincidence, the IMO is meeting this week, the MEPC, and they have a very full green agenda on CO2 emissions, sulfur, and all that. So uh, I would like to turn it to David. He has a few words, and then Mete, who is the head of Maritime DTU, then we'll move on with the program. I even prepared a few slides. <laughs> yeah, so welcome to our mini-conference today. So, uh, as Harry Lau said, uh, last year we uh, also arranged such an event at the Maritime Days. But a lot of things has happened since uh, last year. So first of all, uh, D2 Transportation, where Hadi Laos was sitting, has been merged into uh, D2 Management. And the Maritime uh, Center at DTU, uh, where Sanne is, uh, Meta Sanne is, uh, is head, uh, is also going to move to, to, to D2 Management. So we expect a lot of uh, both strengthening of research uh, and also a lot of synergies between the projects. And uh, it's a pleasure today to somehow share some of the activities uh, we are working on today. Quite often we are asked, okay, so what is actually the common threat in maritime research at DTU? So at least at DTU management, one could say these green logistics solutions, as you can see from the program, there's many activities going on uh, in this area and this is also the focus of the conference today but overall uh, if you look at the maritime projects at DTU one key word is that we work on being more efficient and more efficient is also being more green because you do it using less resources we also try to meet the maritime industry somehow in eye level where the problems are, need, uh, are needed to be solved uh, but as a university, we have somehow a long time horizon, so we do not only focus on solving the problems of tomorrow, but also try to have a longer view on what is, will be needed in uh, uh, five, ten years. And we also strive to have somehow a high uh, scientific level, so, so, so we can allow ourselves to use some more advanced techniques because we have a longer time horizon. The program for today is that after this uh, opening session uh, or opening statement, uh, we have uh, a session uh, of three talks. Then, because we have a lot of sponsors, you can expect a fantastic lunch with champagne and caviar. Uh, um, and then we continue with uh, the next slot uh, in session B, again, three talks. And then after a coffee break, uh, we have two final talks and then we have some closing remarks where we try to wrap up this conference and then we hopefully finish around at four o'clock. So I hope you enjoyed the ride uh, and I would like to thank Harry Laos. Harry Laos said that uh, we have arranged this, con uh, this mini conference together but Harry Laos has done all the hard work so he deserves uh, all the kind uh, works, uh, kind words. If you have something to complain about, then come to me because I didn't do so much. <laughs> so, uh, made it. Yeah, I would also just like to show to welcome you on behalf of Maritime DTU. Um, I think it's really nice to see these four projects under the umbrella of Maritime DTU. Actually, having this conference together and working together and having this strong collaboration. So, I think that's a very strong point here. And also, you also collaborate even broader at DTU. So, um, on the basis of, of the center, it's, uh, it's not very nice to be here also. I hope you have a good day. Thank okay, you. thank you.